What's up guys, it's Coach. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's been so long since I've made a YouTube video. Uh, a lot's changed in my life since I last made a YouTube video, but I really wanted to get back on this grind, but I wanted to do it different. You know, the, the videos I was making in the past they were all on the golf course, and I gotta, be, I gotta be honest with you guys, I don't love making YouTube videos on the golf course. I'll still do some here and there for you guys, but that's not where my passion really lies. I really just kind of enjoy being out there and playing golf rather than lugging a camera around everywhere. So, we made a little bit of a change. I recognized that I needed a space to be able to do all the crazy things that I want to do. You guys know I love trick shots, I love doing just really creative stuff, but you're always very limited by your environment. So we made a little bit of a purchase. We actually ended up leasing out warehouse space here, as you can see in my background. This is Coach's Creation Station. Welcome. Let's go inside. Welcome guys, before we go on with the tour here, let me tell you what my plan is for this place before you see the mess that it is right now. Ultimately the plan is I, I've got this office space here and then on the other side of this wall we've got some warehouse space. I'm going to put a simulator in, a custom putting green, it's just going to be a really cool little golf warehouse where, where I can just create crazy content, I can have people come and hang out, it's just going to be a, a really good space for, uh, for the core golfer. Now getting the simulator installed in here is actually taking much longer than I thought it would, so we needed to figure out something to do with all this empty space we have right now. So if you've been following along on Instagram, you know I've been doing some golf trick shots, some other crazy stuff, but I've also been doing golf art. You're probably wondering what that is. Well, that's what this video is going to be about, baby. I'm going to get in there and we're going to make a really cool painting utilizing a golf club, golf ball, and paint. It's pretty cool. Let's take the tour real quick. Everything is a work in progress, so this is not the finished product, so be gentle, be gentle. But here's the creation station, here's my little off. Office. We've got a little bathroom here, gaming setup, podcast setup, editing, just random things in here, shoes and whatnot. But then when you step through this door here, we get to the warehouse side of things. Now, as you can see, obviously a huge mess. <laughs> we, we've got paintings everywhere that we've been uh, filming and posting on Instagram. We've got all this tarp set up so I don't make a huge mess. Yeah, guys. This is the creation station. So like I said, simulator, custom putting green. The simulator is gonna go over here and then we're gonna build the putting green around it. Then there'll be a little lounge area there. We obviously have the couch there. We have a TV here. And then we're gonna have a little bit more open space over here. Might be a workout area. I, I really don't know. I don't know what the vision is exactly yet. We're just winging it. But guys, we have a space right now to kind of do whatever we want. Whatever we want. That was the goal for me. If I was gonna make a YouTube channel, I wanted to have a space where I could make content doing whatever I want, whenever I want, without anybody telling me what to do. So, uh, as long as we don't tear this place down or burn it down, we're gonna go crazy, so. <laughs> Let's talk about the art real quick. This is a super cool piece that it did. I think this is gonna be actually the first one that I'm gonna list for sale. We're calling it the Royal Tea. Super, super, super cool. I love this one. We did one where we made an iron. I think it personally looks like Fairly Odd Parents character. Still pretty cool. We're gonna mess with the shape of the iron. I posted quick videos of the uh, making of those on my Instagram, so you can go check those out if you'd like. Today, we're gonna actually show you the full process of what it's like to make a painting utilizing a golf club and a golf ball. The goal right now is to get better and kind of figure out what my look is so that when you see one of these paintings, you're like, oh yeah, Coach Rossi definitely made that. And I think we're kind of finding that with this here. In uh, today's video, we've got this 30 by 40 canvas here. We are going to make another royalty, but with just a different colorway. Okay, so the first step is to get the outline of the golf ball, the tee. I'll freehand the crown actually, but I just want to get a little bit of an outline. So I use this little black acrylic pen here. We place this where we want, do a little outline, draw the tee, and then we're good. Okay. Perfect. I absolutely was not planning on freehanding that tee, but we did it. <laughs> it looked okay. Okay, now it's time to pick colors. Here's the colors we're gonna use. I don't know how we're gonna use them just yet, but we're gonna do a yellow. We're gonna do this Viridian. We are going to do this super hot pink right here and we are going to use this really cool little purple that I've got as well. Those are the colors, and then we'll obviously top off the tee, the crown, and the uh, ball with black. You can see here on this painting that I hit golf balls that were covered in paint. See so yeah, how you can see the dimples? That's pretty tight, right? But I also kind of want to get more coverage on the canvas so you don't see so much white, so I might just hit like straight up piles of paint with like a five iron straight at the canvas. I think that would look pretty rad. Trying to make sure not to do it too much to cover up my stencil. If I do, whatever, we'll just go back over it. Um, but yeah, okay, let's see what happens. Gotta swap out the shoes for my uh, painting flops here. Go right about there. All right, we're gonna start with this hot pink. Here's one of my painting clubs, as you can see. Let's see what we get. Uh, 
Well, okay, I like it. All right, so you can see we got a good little spray of pink paint on there. Awesome. We're gonna do a little bit of this blue. That's looking cool. I need more blue, I think. This is thick. Cool. I feel like I need more yellow. I'm gonna try to hit this left side. Awesome, fuck yeah. Need a lot more pink. A lot of yellow trending down in the bottom left. We got blue trending right. Now we're gonna try to get this pink up here. Oh! <laughs> Throw a little purple in here. I need more of the teal. Let's try this, this is a peacock. Peacock teal. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me give you guys a look. This is the direction we're trending in right now, guys. So, really good splatter, really good coverage. I mean, this looks so sick. You got teal, you got pink, you got blue, yellow down kind of on the bottom. All right, I think it's time to start doing lines. This is the hardest part, because it actually takes some pretty good technique. All right, let's give it a go. Oh, yeah. See, that's coming out more spitty. It's actually kind of tight though. You got a nice little curve here. I like that. I like that. I like that. All right, now we're gonna throw a little white line on there. Love that one. Love that one. Yes, how sick is that? Give a little curve. All right, now we're gonna try this. I don't know how it's gonna look. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. That's fucking cool. I want more pink, but I don't have pink in a squirt bottle, so we're gonna make some pink. Oh yeah, that looks fucking great. Uh, I haven't done that much line work on a painting before because it's kind of scary, you can mess it up pretty easily. But all these lines look really good. It's wild looking, I think it's gonna really pop when I put that golf ball tee and crown on it. The royal tee, baby, you know? The royal tee, the royal, royal tee, baby! All right, so that's gotta dry for about an hour and then uh, we'll finish it up. We're actually gonna do one last thing. I'm gonna take this. Lay it flat. I kind of I kind of lost the teal, like the viridian. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an actual golf ball. Why isn't it focusing? There we go. And we are going to dip it in paint. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna juggle over that painting. This part's very sketchy because if I drop the ball on the painting, it's fucking ruined. But I'm only doing this because we lost a lot of the teal underneath, and I didn't have teal in a squirt bottle. So I really want some teal texture on top just to kind of make everything pop. So here we go. Kind of juggle right over it, just spit the ball, spit the paint all over it. This is just to give it a little texture on top in a cool way. Okay, that's good. That's enough. All right, so now as you can see, we've just got a little bit of that teal kind of splattered on top just to kind of help bring that color up from the bottom. It's always a very sketchy technique to get uh, paint to sprinkle across the top of your canvas, but that's what makes my paintings my paintings, you know? Like, I'm incorporating golf into making artwork. It's pretty cool. I'm having a blast with it. I hope this one turns out the way I visualize it turning out. Uh, we're just gonna make sure that dries really, really thoroughly so that when I go to paint on top of it, um, it doesn't smudge at all. I mean, I might give it a little bit more than an hour, but it's cool. It's good. I think it's, I think it's gonna be a dope one. So I'm excited to see it. Just gonna let it dry and uh, I'll see you guys in an hour. Okay, we're back. Let me get the uh, lights turned on in here. All right. <laughs> it was actually uh, more than a couple hours. The painting was not drying as quickly as I thought it would, but it's Thanksgiving, so I had to go down to Tampa. So it's been like a week since we've been here and the painting, uh, it should be dry now. So as we take a look at it here, it is beautiful. I mean, it is gorgeous. Look at the, look at the detail. Look at, oh man, that is just so 
rad looking. It's gonna be sick. So now, what we gotta do is put the Royal T on there, just like this piece here, this piece here, this piece here. <sighs> but I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving break. I know I did, I gained like four or five pounds, you know, just, you know, a couple beverages, a couple adult beverages, a little corn pudding stuff in it. You know, I'm not a turkey guy, I'm more of a hand guy. But, all right, enough about that. Hope you guys had a great holiday. And uh, let's get this painting done. And uh, hopefully it looks cool. Okay, I have found that these brushes are perfect for the uh, everything. So <laughs> we're just gonna use a straight up acrylic black here. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's always a uh, very super nerve-wracking moment. Uh, just trying to get a nice circle on there. I don't want it to be perfect, so there's not a ton of pressure. Even even the T, even the levelness of it, like I don't want anything to be perfect about these paintings. I want them all to be kind of messy and sloppy and have more of a street art vibe. Um, because after all, that's kind of what my brand is in golf anyways. It's not uh, traditional. So, you know, I want it to just kind of pop off the page, look wild, look imperfect. Um, but this painting is done. This painting is done. It's so sick. I love it. I love it. All right, here's the reveal. There you have it, folks. So the main difference on this one is I went a little bit thinner on the T rather than that thick one there. I just wanted to try something different out. You can see the evolution of like what I've done in the past. It's always been a little bit different. I actually kind of like that one. It's quirky and weird, but this one I went thinner and more traditional. I may make it thicker. I haven't decided yet, but overall guys, this is what the piece looks like. As of right now, this is painting number one right here. Uh, this one will be number two, and this one will be number three. So there you have it, guys. That's that's what we've been doing in the, in the creation station while we're waiting for our uh, simulator and putting green. I just really wanted to introduce you guys to my space and uh, kind of what's been going down in here and uh, let you kind of know what the plans are for the future here. So I'm really excited for it. Um, we've got another video coming up next week. I've got a really, really awesome package coming to the creation station that I cannot wait to show you guys. It's just a, it's just a big toy. I can't wait to uh, unbox that for you guys and uh, show you how that goes. So uh, let me know if there's anything you want me to do with this art stuff, any ideas that you might have that you might want to see, just let me know. We're just gonna have fun, but leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe and uh, hit the bell. So appreciate you guys. Good to be back. Later.